Hi, Sienna. Hey, Lizzie. Are you ready to talk about Ponytails Season 1? You bet I am. Episode 1, Happy Birthday Spirit. So, Lucky, Emperor, and Abigail are all packing up to go to the Frontier Phillies Jubilee. The Frontier Phillies Summer Outdoor Jubilee sounds amazing! I can't believe we're finally going. Yeah, if we ever finish filling out these forms. And on one question, it's asking for Spirit's birthday. But of course, he's a wild horse, so... They don't know it. So, Lucky just says, Spirit's birthday is officially today. At first, they tried to give him a party like a human. They all end up in the barn, and they invite Spirit in with all these loud noisemakers and a cake and decorations, and Spirit's just kind of like overwhelmed by everything. <laughs> What's wrong, boy? You're not really into gifts and cakes, huh? Obviously, that did not work out. Then she's just trying to think of more things. And her dad says there's a golden apple orchard with the juiciest apples ever and gives Lucky a map. She tries to go find it, but they cannot find it at all. So they end up just going on this amazing ride that Spirit loves. We never even found the orchard, but it turned out to be the perfect way to celebrate Spirit's birthday. Sometimes the simplest celebrations are the best ones. Dad, there was no golden apple orchard, was there? They get back to the barn, and then they find out that their camping stuff for the Jubilee was stolen. Who would have taken it? Snips! And that's how it ends. Episode 2, T for Twins. They find out that Snips traded their camping equipment. I traded it to Mary Pat and Bianca for this. You traded our camping equipment for a stick? It was a lollipop. I have a brother who's just like Snips. In the mornings when we're getting ready for school, he'll be like, you didn't make your bed. You need to make your bed. You're not allowed to come downstairs because I say so because you didn't make your bed. That is exactly like Snips. You should change his name to Snips. They go to Bianca and Mary Pat. What's it gonna take to get our camping equipment back? You have to join our tea party. But they find out they have to go there as servants. And they're having the worst time. They're just getting tortured by them. But then they come up with a plan. They go up to Mary Pat and Bianca and they say, don't worry, we are not going to leave this tea party until everything here is perfect. We're having the most fun in the world. So Bianca and Mary Pat are not having any fun anymore because Lucky, Prue, and Abigail are not being tortured anymore. Now that you guys are having fun, we're not. You can have your camping equipment back. Your camping equipment is right here. And they bring them to this humongous towering rock. Um, how do you get up there? And that's how it ends. The camping equipment is way up on that mountain. Good luck. <laughs> when we get our equipment back, we are so having another tea party. Episode three, the campsite. Abigail comes up with an idea to slingshot Lucky up there. We could use the broken ladder to build a slingshot to get Lucky up there. That might be a little too dangerous, Abigail. And then Prue is trying to climb the rock and Lucky comes up with this like 27 step plan that I don't even think Prue and Abigail listened. But then after that, they realize that Abigail's idea was not to slingshot Lucky up onto the cliff. It was to slingshot a grappling hook up onto the cliff. You know, they don't always listen to Abigail, but sometimes and just sometimes, Abigail has great ideas. Abigail happened to have a hay hook in her saddlebag, but they only have one shot to get the hay hook on to the cliff. Here goes nothing! And they make it! <gasps> but then the tent flies away because of the wind. <gasps> oh no! They get down, they're racing on their horses, and Lucky stands up and grabs onto the tent, and it acts like a balloon, and it flies her in the air. And she gets stuck in this tree with their tent, so now there's no more tent, and Lucky is slipping. <laughs> Lucky for Lucky, Spirit catches her. Now Lucky's safe, but they have no tent for the Jubilee, and that's how it ends. All right, Sienna, it's time to play a mini game called 
wolf attacks, and train rescues. We're gonna name all of the most daring moments in 30 seconds. All right, let's go. Uh, um, when, um, in the very first episode when they're, when Lucky saves Prue and Abigail from the dynamite. When they, um, um, go to give Kate's letter to the orphanage and they get caught with a bunch of wolves. <laughs> Um, when they save the girl from the ice. <laughs> There's a time when she saves Grayson from the train. When she saves her dad from Butch. Yeah, and when she saves Dusty and Jack from the sand dunes. Oh yeah, and that's time. I think we did really good. Yeah, we killed it. Episode four, Maricela sitting free. The pals go to the shop to buy a tent. They find out that the last tent is gone, and then they find out who bought it. You bought the last tent? Well, I can't go to the Frontier Falcons Jubilee without one. She wants to be able to go there too, so that's why she got the tent. Maricela, in order to be a Frontier Philly, you have to have completed the Clippity Cloppers. Well, you need a tent, right? I suppose I could let you sleep in a corner of mine if you help me with whatever it was you just said. The first thing she has to do to complete the Clippity Cloppers is learn how to ride a horse. Of course, Marcella is not just going to get on a horse. She, at first, is trying to find a horse that she will actually get on, and it is taking her forever to just pick the horse that she wants. Too small, too smelly. This is the last one, Marcella. I guess it will have to do. And then she says it's too dirty, it needs boots, it needs its hair done. She sits on it for about a millisecond and gets off and she said, I've had enough. Uh, Maricela, that wasn't a ride. Whatever it was, it's not for me. They went through all that trouble just for her to sit on it and get off. But now it's like they lucked out. They get Maricela's tent, so now they can go to the Frontier Phillies Jubilee. And they rush off to go to the Jubilee. And then they realize the Jubilee's not for another week. Got a little too excited. <laughs> so they go back. And that's the end. One last thing, we gotta talk about the music videos. Of course! First music video is Unstoppable. There's a voice inside of me, and it's shouting out. And it has a dream. It's basically talking about how you can do anything. There's a spark in you. They're doing these crazy jumps. It's saying that girls can do anything. You are unstoppable. You're gonna hear me up the crowd. Confident and loud. I'm unstoppable now. I clearly remember one of the parts in it where on the wall it has words that say fight like a girl. And I think that's a really great saying. If you feel like you can do something, you're unstoppable. And there's nobody that can stop you if you don't want to be stopped. We're unstoppable. And the other music video is called Young and Free. So exciting, nothing like I've ever seen. So beautiful. The color shining so brightly. It's saying that you're young, you you have a chance to live your life, you can go wild. In this great big world. I think it's talking about how lucky Prue Abigail are to have the chance to live their life how they want to. We are wild, we are young and free. We are wild, we are young. In this great 